if Pompey defeated expects that Ptolemy, the king of Egypt, will help restore his fortunes, he is deceived. My lord, Rome now owns her master. Even the gods divide with you their empire. They have decreed that of all the world's dominions, Jove shall rule the skies, Caesar the earth. What would you ask of Caesar, fair wife of vanquished Pompey, noble Cornelia? Let warfare now cease. Hang up your trophies in the temple, sheathe your sword, disband all your legions. He conquers twice, who shows mercy to the conquered. Send Pompey hither, let him embrace me. Our anger, our war shall be forgotten, and in defeat, Pompey shall conquer his conqueror. Great Caesar, my master Ptolemy offers you his kingdom for your repose and your enjoyment, and so that the world may know you are its master. In token of his friendship and his allegiance, King Ptolemy lays at your feet as a foundation for your throne the haughty head of Pompey, your enemy. What gift is this? The heads, what horror! Alas, what anguish! Oh, my husband! As a warrior and as a Roman, my and master, you tempt not my wrath. Leave us, Caesar. Restrain your anger. Oh, I shall reach your master's palace tonight at sunset. Let him beware my coming. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
I still live. Let me silence the heart in my breast with one merciful stroke. Never! This steel was not forged to be slain with innocent blood. No! Exos, my dearest! What shall we do surrounded by our enemies? You without a husband!
Charles beheaded the vanquished Pompey and sent the severed head to conquering Caesar.
Christ sees a welcome the gift that he sent him. He refused it. Refused it? He said that you were hasty and ill-advised. A Roman bailiff must insult me. I have a plan, sire, to teach him better manners. I here make promise that I will lay his lifeless body at your feet, provided that you grant me as my reward the hand of Pompey's widow. So be it. Your timely counsel shall guide my actions. Go now, make all ready, then return here. Presumptuous Caesar shall die. His haughty head shall lie beneath my feet. Rome, then, which long he has oppressed, shall regain he her freedom. Caesar living may destroy me. Caesar dead shall secure my throne forever. <laughs> Oh. 
A nobly born young maiden here at hand seeks audience with Caesar. Let her approach. Along with my companion, I say Cleopatra. My name is Lydia. I was born here in Egypt of high and noble lineage. But Ptolemy the usurper has cruelly robbed me of my fortune. How can so much beauty combine in one fair face? Is King Ptolemy such a tyrant? I kneel here before you and before Rome too. Unfortunate lady, in but a moment I go to Pharaoh's palace. This very night, your wrongs shall be righted. My lord, your grace and kindness bind me to your service. Your beauty binds me to yours. And the power of your beauty has made Caesar himself your willing servant. Whatever you desire, Caesar will grant it. But say, a woman in great anguish, with weary footsteps and woe in every feature, walks here towards us. I can see from her bearing, this is a noble woman. Let us watch from a distance to learn why she is grieving.
Generous destiny has placed a thousand scepters in your own conquering hand. Your splendor, illustrious Ptolemy, leaves me amazed. In truth, I cannot tell which luminary sheds the brighter radiance, the sun on the high, or royal Ptolemy here below. Be warned, though, one evil deed beclouds all the world in shadow. The upstart dares insult you to your face. Rare now, these my girls to act as your escorts to your apartments, where my servants await you. Villain, this very night I shall have him at my mercy. None but a fool would trust him for a moment.
Sextus a son of the lady Cornelia. You have murdered the mighty Pompey, who long years since with his own hand placed the crown of Egypt on your royal father's brow. Not only was he a Roman, he was your guest. Stephen, I challenge you to meet me in single combat. Enough. Take this foolish boy, confine him in the palace, and her. Take her off to the gardens. There is a slave to labor with the medias. But not for long. If she has won your heart, why then you shall have her. How happy you'll make me. Cornelia, your lovely eyes have captured my heart. When in good time you look on me with favor, why then we shall be married. And with your son you shall regain your freedom. Science! I, a Roman wife to a vile Egyptian, shivery you. Ah, oh, no, soon I shall dare. Guards here! The king has ordered that he shall be kept in confinement. Take him into the castle. Do not part us, let me go with him, my son, my dearest Sextus. You must remain here. Think well, you have no hope of mercy except through me. But in turn you must show mercy to one who loves you.
commands are fulfilled. And has Caesar arrived? He is within, but soon he will be coming to look for Lydia. But tell me, he's all ready for the scene that we had planned. Behind the curtains, your magic palace blazes with light. But what is your intention? You must wait here for Caesar to arrive. When he has seen our entertainment, you'll show him the way to my apartments, and you will say that before the day is ended, Lydia will come to tell great Caesar what wrongs the unjust Ptolemy has done her. Where is she, Nirenus? You said she would be waiting. The Lady Lydia will shortly attend you, my lord. Listen. What is this? Such glorious radiance have the gods walked the
his hand has no melody to equal such peerless singing.
your grieving oh your fate now seems harsh you soon could change it my fate is despair i wish my destiny if you could find it in your heart to accept what i offer i could save you and your son from all your misery no more never use such words to me again I entered here to try to soften the hard heart of her I love. It would seem you had failed. She rejects me still. My heart is broke. Cornelia, you are too proud. Meanwhile, the Caesar lives. My lord, this very night his body will lie at your feet. Insult avenged, you will rule in Egypt forever. Go then, see it's done. Remember, the fair Cornelia is your reward. Oh, how can you hate him? All your charms have enslaved. She is a villain of a lovely face of a no hope of comfort with all your beauty. Leave me. Has your lust deprived you of reason? Am I not Cornelia? Am I not a Roman? Dare you refuse a king? Vain, foolish woman. I shall use force. Embrace cannot move you. If I cannot make you love me, I'll teach you to fear me. He has left one course and all remains to save my honor. Beyond these high walls, guarding the scenario, wild creatures lie in wait. I will throw myself down. I am not afraid to die. What should I live for? Farewell, great Rome. Now the gods at last 
ocean, just the strength of my arm. Though I myself may die, first dies the tyrant. <laughs>
so what do I see? My love lies here sleeping. Charming Lydia, I adore you. If she gained an inkling, if one spark were to touch her from the raging fire burning within me, she would know that one day the changes of fortune might place her at my side, my wife, perhaps my empress. Your boy, I shall love you till I die. My dear, have I displeased you? You are very young. A servant here in the palace, you know not what you say. I see that my words have angered you. You like me less when I'm awake. Since I'd rather you loved me, I'll go to sleep again. Seize up, you are betrayed. Betrayed? I was going to your rooms, my lord, when I heard voices. There was a shouted command, find Caesar and kill him. When I discovered you had come here, I came straightway to warn you. It is true then that Egypt is governed by murderers. Lady, remain here. We must part till these traitors are defeated. Stay, my lord, do not go, or I shall die. Leave me, Lydia. Not Lydia. I shall fly to the battle at your side. In the fiercest of the fight, you will find Cleopatra. Cleopatra? Caesar, look with those dear eyes that I adore, and be not so amazed, beloved. I am Cleopatra, not Lydia as you thought me. You, Cleopatra? I can hardly believe it. Oh, foolish heart, what have you done? Lydia is Cleopatra. And you have spurned her, ye gods. Caesar, fly where you may. The murderers are coming hard at your heels. Fly before they find you. So, not even Cleopatra, not even the queen can save me from these villains. I cannot shield you. These are desperate men supported by Ptolemy. Then let them try me. I'm ready. Caesar has never yet refused a battle.
first sight of my all conquering sword, the Roman Caesar. It was not Ptolemy who defeated me, betrayed by blind fortune, who justly protects you without honor, without reason, and without justice. Enough! I am your master, and from henceforth you defy me at your peril. Place the traitress in fetters. Cruel brother, the gods will punish your tyrannies. Away, I hear this old you. No more are you my sister. Take her off to the prison, where she shall atone for each crime and each insult. And there beneath my throne, she'll beg for mercy. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
then all just is in heaven. Who is this? A warrior? Another lying wounded? Who can they be? I must hear further. Achilles, have courage. I know not who you are, although you treat me as a friend and call me by my name. But ah, if by chance kind fate should guide your footsteps, so that one day you'll meet with a lady Cornelia, great Pompey's widow, tell her that same Achilles who brought about her noble husband's death and who, led on by hopes of marrying her, conspired to murder Caesar. Spurned at the last by him he sought to serve, he turned his sword on King Ptolemy, fought against the tyrant, but fought in vain and perished. Take this ring from my finger, in a cave beyond this hill, a hundred faithful warriors still await my orders. Show them this, and they'll obey you. At your command, they'll lead you to the palace where they know a secret entrance. And once inside, you may rescue Cornelia. Then kill the king. Ring to me. Oh, Who is this? By Lord. You, Sextus. You that I've seen are unarmed. We all thought you dead. Not so. I swam to the shore and thus escaped. But now he's dead. His villainy can help us. Seek out his men. They lead us to the palace. You and Irenaeus follow. If now at last we cannot rescue your mother and Cleopatra. We are not Romans. <laughs>
face, my dearest love. Cesar, it cannot be, dearest. At last I hold you. I feared I came too late. Your brother meant to murder you. Tell me who were you rescued? There will soon be time to tell you the story of my adventures. Meanwhile, you are free. Go with my men to the harbor where Curio is rallying our scattered troops and wait for me there. Mars calls me to battle. In your name, I must conquer the whole of Egypt. Not only Egypt, a world is waiting to be won, waiting for the man who dares accept the challenge.
with my sword have avenged my father's death on the head of his murderer and killed in single combat Ptolemy of Egypt. A mighty deed in one so young. My son has indeed slaughtered the tyrant to threaten my honor. Perhaps even my life is fitting that a son avenge his father's death. Rise, Lord Sextus, and as a friend, let me embrace you. I vow, my lord, to serve you in true allegiance. We have brought to great seas the scepter and the crown of the infamous Ptolemy. Cleopatra, the diadem of the pharaohs is yours by rights. So I will place it on your brow. Henceforth, as queen of Egypt, you shall rule this great kingdom in honor and justice. Yeah. <laughs> 